Alright, so after we finish class on Wednesday um, with the sailboat problem, we had come up with the four values um, that essentially we needed to solve the problem. So first we have to figure out, we have to combine these values um, so that we can go ahead and solve this equation. Uh, so each one of these applies to a spot on our triangle here, um, or actually both of our triangles. So we've got um, our initial velocity of the boat in its direction was 11.5 meters per second. Um, we now know that the velocity here um, on the y-axis was that 5.75 meters per second. Um, and we also figured out that the velocity here, the current, <coughs> is actually negative, so we're going to have to subtract that out momentarily here. Um, we also have our degree measures in here. Uh, this guy was 30 degrees. This one was 25. And we had Okay, so that's our completed um, picture. So now what we're going to have to do uh, is go ahead and take our known values and combine them to get um, our resultant vector. So to get the x direction, um, our x total, We're going to want to take um, basically our resultant vector is going to be equal to the velocity of b of x plus velocity of c of x, um, which if you add together uh, b of x and c of x, you're going to get 11.9 meters per second. Uh, and then we're going to have to find our y total. So, uh, or actually that's velocity. Okay. Um, so our y total is going to equal velocity b of x plus velocity I apologize. Let's see if y here. B of y. And also our C of y. Um, so if you go ahead and add those together, uh, your B of y along with C of y, you're going to get a total of. 4.86 meters per second. Uh, so now you have those two values. Uh, so essentially the last thing we need to go ahead and do here um, is find our last our resultant vector. Um, so that is using the Pythagorean theorem which will be vr squared um, is equal to the xt squared, so that's the total that we had up here, um, plus the y total, which is this value. Uh, so once we go ahead and do that, we're going to have 11.9 squared plus 4.86 squared. 
Alright, so if you go ahead and do that, now you get 11.9 squared plus 4. Point, actually, that's going to go ahead and round to. I believe that rounds to 4.9, actually. Yeah. Squared. Um, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and take the square root of this 165.62. So our velocity of our resultant, oops, don't need the square anymore, um, it's going to be 12.9 meters per second, and that's insignificant figures.